Hey guys, Insomnia here with some more AFK Arena. Today we are back over on the test server and we are looking at the brand new Voyage of Wonder, the Arid Badlands. So I did make an attempt to finish this a little bit earlier. Unfortunately, I did not. I was unable to finish it. So looking at the chest, we are getting maximum rewards here, which is awesome. We are getting faction scrolls and Stargazer cards. These are what you're really looking for out of here. We also do have three chests that I have collected, but these are the main ones, which the red chest being the most important. You can actually go through this entire voyage without uh, fighting any of the battles, which is pretty neat. So I'm gonna go through here and this is gonna be kind of a speed run. So I'm gonna leave all the battles alone, especially the couple that we have already collected. So looking here, we do have a red card and a blue card like we've seen before. We have Movis, the Far Stalker, and of course the logistics officer. So coming back to the beginning, this is pretty specific with how you have to do this. I'm not sure some of the battles you might have to have to fight, but yep, because that is out of reach. So the first battle we'll take out. This was the very first chest. So the battles in here relatively easy compared to the other ones that we've seen. Um, relatively easy to get through here. But the first one we're going to do is, of course, hit this little red lever. This will send our red cart on its path. Hitting these buttons, the buttons will actually open doors just like we see there. So the cart will stop here. Moving back up for the blue cart, we'll send the blue cart on its way. And this is the path that the red cart opened the door. You wanna take the blue cart essentially to the blue cart, open the red cart's door to the end. So this is the second point or the, or the second stop for the cart. So now we'll actually come right back up. We'll bring our red cart back. There it is, and we will fire it on its way again because now the blue card did open the doors. All right, so that is kind of phase one. So phase two, you'll actually move into the second part of the dungeon. So let's go ahead and we're going to look at switches. So we got the blue lever and we got the yellow lever right here. So first, we're going to hit the blue lever. Moving down here, we're going to hit the blue lever. Boom, it's going to change some of our little emblems there. Now we're going to hit the blue cart. So we're actually going to move down here, send the blue cart on the way to hit a couple of our little switches on the railways. Boom, there's the first one. It's the second one, again, opening up the doors for the blue guy and stopping the cart here. All right, so back to where we were. Here is our switch. So this time we're actually going to go up and hit the blue switch one more time changing the path of the carts. And now we are going to recall our blue cart and then send it on its way one more time. So that'll bring it back. And what we're doing with this one is black blocking the path for the red cart. So now the red cart will bounce off of the blue cart instead of getting stuck here and actually proceed to the left after we come up and hit our yellow lever. There we go. So yellow lever is done. So now it is red cart time. So we'll hit the red cart. Again, it's going to bounce off the blue cart, which is what we wanted it to do. Coming up, boom, hitting the first switch, hitting the second switch, opening the way for the blue. And it looks like on the test server, this is a little bit shaky. Um, I'm not sure if it's by design, but it does look a little bit shaky there. So now we'll actually reset, pull back the blue cart. And now we are going to hit both levers. So we're going to go yellow lever first. We're going to change this one to block the way that the blue card is going. We're going to hit the blue lever second to reset both of these. And now we'll go ahead and shoot the blue card. So this concludes phase two. Pick up the treasure chest that used to be here. But this will go up and this will conclude phase two. And we'll move up here to phase three. So now the red in the cart. The red and blue cart are where they need to be. All right, so we will move up here. Looking at phase three, so we get two other levers. We get a purple lever and a green lever, which we see over here. So to start this phase, we are gonna start with the purple lever. So make sure you go ahead, pull the purple lever. There we go. Now we're gonna hit the green lever. And this, you, get, you gotta kind of be um, consistent and concise with it. So now we're gonna hit the railway switch. This is actually gonna move this little cart down here, which brings us to the red cart. This time we're gonna send the red cart on its journey. 
and see exactly where it goes. And there it is. Remember, we're looking to hit those little buttons, but it bounces off of here, hits the blue button, stops right here. So this is where the cart will stay right now. Now we're looking for the blue cart. So now we're gonna send the blue cart. Because remember, the red and blue cart can actually be barriers for each other. So the red cart's filling a gap where the blue cart would have went. Boom. We wanted the blue cart to hit that switch to open the door, and then it stops right there. All right, so now looking here, we're gonna swap this railway switch to move our little cart back to where it used to be. Now we are doing double blue. So one switch to bring the blue cart back, second switch to bring it on its way. Because remember, now we move the cart out of the way, so it will take a different direction. And there it is for the next point. Now we're looking at the railway switches here. So this one will actually block the path. So the cart has to go down instead of getting stuck on this little pathway. And then we're going to look at the green lever. So now we're hitting the green lever. All right, and now we are back to our red cart. So all the way back to the beginning of phase three, again, double red cart, one to bring it back, the second one to actually send it on its way. And there goes the red cart. Hits a switch there, bounces off the blue cart, bounces off that one. Red cart is done. This is where we want it to be parked. Boom, red cart is done at this point. All right, so coming back up, Looking at this, we're gonna do the green lever. There we go, switch a couple of these. Now it is time for the purple lever. Now we are going to go double blue cart. So one to reset. There we go, we bring him back. Second one, we're gonna send him on his way. And that should be it, guys, for the Arid Badlands. So he will run his course. Couple battles there, a couple battles there. Boom, that is the second one. Later than expected. I believe one of these are going to turn into some of our final chests after the conversation is done. So we can claim the reward. So we'll go down. Make sure with the cards you claim the reward. So there is our first chest, which gives us our Stargazer cards. Very nice. The blue cart, there we go, gives us a scroll. So you only do have to fight one battle in here, which is to get to the red switch in the very, very beginning. The battle seemed relatively early. I'll just go ahead and clean up. It looks like we have three battles left for the very last chest. So guys, that will conclude it to the Arid Badland. If you want to continue watching, we're just going to go through these battles. Looks relatively easy. I know I didn't pick up the rest of the relics, which I usually do. Um, we go with a Shmira carry on the free-to-play account, but the Arid Badlands will be completely done at this point. You know what? We'll go with Sunstone. Absolutely love that one. So relatively easy voyage in comparison to the snowy front that we just ran through, which was super, super difficult when it came to the final bosses. I know a lot of players were unable to finish that voyage. So again, this one seems relatively easy. If you can beat the first battle, you can get both of the major rewards without doing anything else in the actual voyage. Just like you've seen right here through the little speed run that we did, you can actually just kind of buzz right through it. Making sure you follow the guide because if you start throwing off switches, um, it's very difficult to backtrack to where you have to move your switch um, or where the carts are going to be. You can always reset it. Um, just looking at the map and go back to kind of square one so this will be our final battle, guys, and that will do it again for the Arid Badlands. If you stayed with me through all of it, very, very cool to see the completion of it. I absolutely love the Voyage of Wonders. It's very cool to see. So when I complete them, remember, I go back, I make sure they are complete. We have our two chests. We have our sick gold chest. So guys, that will conclude it for the Arid Badlands. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Very cool new Voyage of Wonder. Remember, this is also going to be one of the requirements when it comes to the Snowbound Riches. So there is my acquire all rewards in the Voyage of Wonder the first time. So 3,000 extra tokens there, which gives me a little bit of a little extra piece to my chest. But guys, that will do it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Very, very cool to see the Arid Badlands. 
brand new Voyager Wonder coming very, very soon. As always, thank you guys for watching.